Emily Jane Bronte, an introduction. In the small village of Haworth in Yorkshire, the Bronte family created novels and poems that are still admired to this day around the world. The middle of the three Bronte sisters, Emily Jane, was born on 30th of July, 1818. The author of Wuthering Heights, she was also a very talented poet, as witnessed here in this collection. She died of tuberculosis at the age of only 30, on 19th of December, 1848. So frail at death, her coffin measured only 16 inches wide. Spellbound by Emily Bronte The night is darkening round me, the wild winds coldly blow. But a tyrant's spell has bound me, and I cannot, cannot go. The giant trees are bending, their bare boughs weighed with snow, and the storm is fast descending, and yet I cannot go. Clouds beyond clouds above me, wastes beyond wastes below, but nothing drear can move me. I will not, cannot go. A daydream. On a sunny brae, alone I lay one summer afternoon. It was the marriage time of May, with her young lover, June. From her mother's heart seemed loath to part, that queen of bridal charms. But her father smiled on the fairest child he ever held in his arms. The trees did wave their plumy crests, the glad birds caroled clear. And I, of all the wedding guests, was only sullen there. There was not one but wished to shun my aspect void of cheer. The very grey rocks looking on asked, What do you do here? And I could utter no reply. In sooth, I did not know why I had brought a clouded eye to greet the general glow. So, resting on a healthy bank, I took my heart to me, and we together sadly sank into a reverie. We thought, when winter comes again, where will these bright things be? All vanished like a vision vain, an unreal mockery. The birds that now so blithely sing, through deserts frozen dry, poor spectres of the perished spring, in famished troops will fly. And why should we be glad at all? The leaf is hardly green, before a token of its fall is on the surface seen. Now whether it were really so, I never could be sure, but as in fit of peevish woe, I stretched me on the moor. A thousand, thousand gleaming fires seemed kindling in the air. A thousand, thousand silvery lyres resounded far and near. Methought the very breath I breathed was full of sparks divine, and all my heather couch was wreathed by that celestial shine. And while the wide earth echoing rung to their strange minstrelsy, the little glittering spirit sung, or seemed to sing, to me. O oh, mortal, mortal, let them die, let time and tears destroy, that we may overflow the sky with universal joy. Let grief distract the sufferer's breast, and night obscure his way. They hasten him to endless rest and everlasting day. To thee the world is like a tomb, a desert's naked shore. To us, in unimagined bloom, it brightens more and more. And could we lift the veil and give one brief glimpse to thine eye, thou wouldst rejoice for those that live, because they live to die. The music ceased, the noonday dream, like dream of night, withdrew. But fancy still will sometimes deem her fond creation true. No Coward Soul is Mine by Emily Bronte 
No coward soul is mine, no trembler in the world's storm-troubled sphere. I see heaven's glories shine, and faith shines equal, arming me from fear. O God within my breast, almighty ever-present deity, life that in me has rest, as I, undying life, have power in thee. Vain are the thousand creeds that move men's heart, unutterably vain. Worthless as withered weeds, or idlest froth amid the boundless main, to waken doubt in one holding so fast by thine infinity, so surely anchored on the steadfast rock of immortality. With wide embracing love thy spirit animates eternal years, pervades and broods above, changes, sustains, dissolves, creates and rears. Though earth and man were gone, and suns and universes ceased to be, and thou wert left alone, every existence would exist in thee. There is not room for death, nor atom that his might could render void. Thou, thou art being and breath, and what thou art may never be destroyed. Moonlight, Summer Moonlight by Emily Jane Bronte Tis moonlight, summer moonlight, all soft and still and fair. The solemn hour of midnight breathes sweet thoughts everywhere. But most where trees are sending their breezy boughs on high, or stooping lower lending a shelter from the sky. And there in those wild bowers a lovely form is laid, green grass and dew-steeped flowers wave gently round her head. 